Two, three, four. Hey y'all, welcome to the first episode of Undercover. Our channel is dedicated to helping you learn how to cover any song. In this episode, we're gonna go over how to figure out the bass line for the song you wanna cover. A bass line is the lower pitched instrumental part of a song, played often by a bass guitar in most popular music, but really any instrument that can play lower notes can play the bass line. I'll be walking you through my own process for finding the bass line today, so let's get started. All right, starting off, your first step is going to be listening to the song you want to cover and specifically listening intently to the bass line over and over and over until you can hear it clearly in your head and can comfortably sing along with the bass line, probably in a higher octave. Singing in a higher octave means you're singing the same notes as the bass line, but in an upper register of your voice, unless you're a bass singer, and in that case, even better. I just really want to stress the singing aspect of this because if you can sing it, you can play it. This process of listening and internalizing the music is so important because this will ensure that you have a really clear idea of the song in your head and will make figuring out your bass line so much easier and faster. With that, it's important to sing accurately and in tune, and if that's difficult at first, with practice it'll become easier over time. Here's an example of me listening to the song Chinese New Year by Sales and singing along with the bass. <laughs> Now that we've got the bass line in our ear, we want to start transcribing. Transcribing is the practice of writing down music, the notes and rhythms from a recording. You can notate using standard music notation, tabs, a mix of the two, doesn't really matter, as long as you can understand it. The importance of writing something down though is that it'll help you double check your work and make sure that what you think the bass line is actually checks out. Also, this process of figuring out a bass line, especially if this is all new to you, can take more than one session, and so you can save your written work for now. So, when first starting to transcribe, I like to do my research. There's often someone out there who's done a cover or transcription of most any song you could choose, so do a search for the notation or tabs online. Although what you may find may not be 100% accurate, they'll usually get in the ballpark and that'll help guide you in figuring out your bass line. For example, this is what I searched to find some notation or tabs of Chinese New Year by Sales. As you can see, just by typing in the name of the artist and the song, plus the word bass, I found multiple videos that would help me listen to the bass line and also learn the notes through tabs. Some other keywords that might help in a search might be arrangement or transcription or tutorial. Also in doing research, you'll often find the chord changes. These are going to be really helpful, especially if you can't find anything else or aren't really comfortable with standard notation or tabs. So knowing the chord changes will help limit the possibilities of what notes are being used in the bass line. Usually the bass will function as an outline of the chord changes by playing the root or another chord tone during that chord. So I'll use the example of Chinese New Year. The first chord of the song is D major, and that means if I spell that chord out, I get the notes D, F sharp, A, C sharp. And since I've listened to that song a lot and can sing the bass line really comfortably, I know the first note sounds like this. Da. So through some trial and error, I can try each one of these chord tones to see if that matches the pitch of the first note. So is it F sharp? Da. Is it A? Da. No. What about C sharp? Da. Ooh, we're getting close. Da. It's D. So if I'm really stumped with trying to figure out a note, some other little techniques I might try are using a tuner to sing the note into and see what it says. Da. Which gives us the first note, D. Um, another one I might try is climbing up the fingerboard until I find the note that matches. Da. This same technique could also work well on a different instrument like a piano. It might make it easier for you to hear the note that matches. The process of discovering the notes and rhythms of the bass line is helped most by the first step I talked about. Listening to the song, and especially the bass line, over and over and over and singing along. Without this first step, it can be really difficult to figure out the notes and rhythms because you don't really know what you're looking for then. It's kind of like if you were driving around looking for a certain road 
and it's dark, you can't see the street signs, but you just refuse to ask for directions. So if you really listen to the directions in your recording and take them in, that'll help guide you to what you're looking for. So thank you for watching this first episode of Undercover. I hope it helps you out, and if you want to learn some more tips and tricks for listening and transcribing the baseline, and also if you want to learn a little bit about how to get creative and make your baseline cover your own, then make sure you subscribe and watch out for episode two. If there's any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them, so feel free to drop them below. Thanks and good luck!